guys, what's up? This is Mike Gross at youtube.com slash rockin' guitar lessons one. Uh, watch my website coming in June of 2012, and that's going to be rockinguitarlessons.com. Rockin' is R O C K I N guitar lessons. So I'm doing a series of lessons on scales um, these past couple days, and I think we've got three left to do as far as open position scales, and I've got a few closed position scales. Uh, they're really cool. It's going to open up the doors for soloing, even your rhythm playing. The, the beginning of this lesson, that's what I was doing, was using scale notes mixed with chords. So it's really cool. I mean, even stuff like La Bamba or whatever, stuff like... Where they're using scale notes. So we're going to do E major, open position, eight notes in the scale. The root and the eighth note are the same, so that's called an octave. Okay? To jump into this, make sure you're tuned up. And what you want to do is go and fingering, you know, it's. I'm going to advise that you try and use the same fingering that I'm using on this. But, you know, when I, to be honest with you guys, when I first started playing, I didn't always go textbook on the finger. I, I did what I was comfortable with. But the thing I'm scared about with you guys, if I, if I tell you to do that, you can create a bad habit. And sometimes people don't come back for those bad habits and they get discouraged and quit and stuff. So even though this is going to probably be a little more difficult with these fingers, try it this way anyways. Open E. And our formula is root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Half step is one fret, whole step is two frets. So open E. Middle finger on the second fret E. That's We just traveled a whole step. Pinky. This is where you're going to be like, yuck, probably. But go to fourth fret on the E. So that's root, whole, whole, half, go open A, whole step higher, put you on the second fret A, another whole step, fourth fret on the A. I want you to catch something here, guys. This is what helped me a lot. Memorize patterns when you're playing this stuff. So if you memorize the low E, do the same thing on the A. This one's really cool that way it's set up. Also, I want you to practice when you're done with this alternate picking with them. Okay, next note is first fret on the D, and then we're going to end it with the half step, which will put you on the second fret D. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do. That's the major scale. Okay, so these will open up some cool doors, guys. Um, practice them slowly, make sure it's clean. Play it on the clean channel, and then play it on the overdrive. Um, there's lots of cool riffs that can be played within here. If you're not subscribed to my channel, why not? It's free. Go over and subscribe, man. I'd appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys. I'm enjoying doing this. Um, I'm Mike Gross. This is YouTube.com slash Rockin' Guitar Lessons 1. And watch for me in June, like I said earlier, of 2012 at my website. My coming website, RockinGuitarLessons.com. I'm really excited. I've got a lot of cool things in store for you guys. So in the meantime, keep playing and I'll meet you guys back here soon. Thank you.